Here's Boba Fett on the Hasbro stand, and he looks super sweet on this one. He fits really, really nice. So you can go with the NECA or Hasbro, but I did heat up his helmet, and to me, it looks almost the same. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Solo 8, and today I'll be going over another Star Wars The Black Series Deluxe review today. We've got Boba Fett from Star Wars Return of the Jedi. In packaging, he looks absolutely epic. In this video, we'll also be comparing him to the archive Boba Fett, which I have a very embarrassing review up on the channel of him. One of my first ever videos. So if you want to check that out, feel free to do so. Let's take a quick close look at Boba Fett in package. You can see he comes with his blaster that's split into two. He has another rifle down there on the bottom. Lots of accessories, which I really hope we can get some more. Looks like a little rope coming out of his wrist and of course his jet pack. On the side of the package, you do get a pretty epic image of Boba Fett. The back, he does have a short little bio and he is number six in Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Feel free to pause and read that. On the top, he's got a little window, crunched up side window on this side. I got this from Amazon, if anybody's wondering. But yeah, they stuffed it in the box just like that, all crunched. There is the R code on the bottom. So without further ado, thanks for checking out today's video. And let's see what this guy can do. Boom! Boba Fett's out of the package. I have him on a slow rotation on the turntable, but... This Boba Fett is definitely superior than the older Boba Fett, in my opinion, right off the bat. And I didn't even put him in any poses yet because I'm a little concerned about that helmet that is squinched together out of the package. Now, I just squeezed it a little bit. I'm trying to see if I don't have to apply heat in this review. Uh, by the end of the review, we'll check it out to see if we do need to add some heat. As you can see, he does come with a pretty cool jetpack here. I'm just going to show some accessories before we put him in a few poses. Look at the weathering on that thing. That is absolutely sick. I know a lot of people complain about the yellow, but I love it. It just pops. It really does. And you can see these little bits that are going to put the little flames in there from his jetpack, which is just going to look absolutely sick. I just can't wait to put them in. He also comes with this grappling type hook. I got that's going to go on his wrist, and we will see how that looks. Here is the end of the hook. He wraps that around Luke Skywalker in Return of the Jedi. Also comes with a missile for his jetpack with this gun, which has some pretty amazing weathering on it. So it's definitely a deluxe look to it. I love it. You can see his older one actually has two different paints on it. And this one is just brown and more weathered. Maybe it's from being on Tatooine. I'm not sure. Famous blaster from Tatooine where it is cut in half by Luke Skywalker's saber. It just pops in like that. I don't want to push it too hard, but it doesn't feel like it's going to go in all the way. But yeah, that looks super, super cool. And not losing it if you're not going to have him holding that all the time. It is a nice feature to have connect like that. This flame here is, you can definitely think of your flame troopers. But yeah, that's really, really great. I really hope we see some more black series with that the rocket flare here just looks absolutely sweet but we are definitely in for a treat if they continue this route but just looking at boba fett i love all the paint work on him he looks absolutely sweet you can see all the weathering in the chest the little mandalorian emblem on his shoulder this cape is plastic this time See, all the weathering on him definitely screams deluxe that's for sure the archive boba was pretty awesome too but I think it's time. Let's put this guy in some poses and let's see what he can do. Here's a quick shot of Boba Fett just in a kneeling pose. This looks absolutely awesome. I'm really excited about this figure. I am having a little bit of trouble keeping his jetpack on him. The articulation is everywhere you want it. This is great. Let's put him in another pose. Here's a quick look at Boba Fett on the NECA stand that you can pick up at Target. I still have his helmet squished together, but it looks like it's popping out of place to me. Yeah, you can get this guy in some pretty dynamic poses. I'm loving this. Boba Fett thing. again on the NECA stand with the flamethrower coming out of his wrist. And his little sensor visor is flipped up too. But overall, this figure is epic. I'm sure everybody's going to have so much fun with this guy because I'm having a blast with him. Let's get him off of here and stick him in another pose. Just his flame accessory, and it looks sweet. He stands up just fine. 
without the flight stand. Oh, I did forget to put on his jetpack, but you know what? This guy looks cool even without his jetpack. I just wish there was a way, you know, we could stick this in a little bit better because those pegs, I just keep having to force it. But the flames on the jetpack, yeah, they're just spot on, man. That, that looks so great. Like I said earlier, this missile is removable too. It is starting to look like I do need to heat up that helmet. What do you guys think? I will most likely do it before I end this video. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at Boba Fett's paint job. You can see the amazing, absolutely amazing weathering on that helmet. That is just phenomenal. And it's super, super glossy. Mine definitely does look like it needs to be heated up, guys, which is a bummer. I was really hoping we didn't have to do that. Compared to the other Fett, it is definitely more green. They are both amazing Boba Fetts, no doubt about that. And you can see the chest, the weathering on the new one, a lot more damage on it. And it looks like that they have shrunk the symbol on there. The braids look way better on the deluxe, that's for sure. The wrists, yeah, are different colors. Both wrists are, are different. His gloves are completely different. Uh, they went all out on this figure. The pockets aren't painted on the new one like they are on the old one. He still has all kinds of goodies stuffed in his pockets. His feet look the same, except he's got a nice grayer tone on these feet. The belt is different on the archive versus the new one too. This belt does slide up and down and on the old one, yeah, that slid up and down also. This little red belt underneath here, lots and lots of detail on there. It almost feels like it's real cloth material, but it isn't. You can see the straps on the back look pretty sick. It's like it's connected right down through the middle of Boba, which is odd. This guy is spot on, man, totally rocking. The only thing he's missing is his pistol, which I guess he didn't have it in Return of the Jedi anyway. And you can see the slots where the jetpack goes. And as I was telling you all throughout the video, I have trouble putting it in there. But you can maybe st start with the top two pegs and then push in and see it just falls out on me. We'll figure out a technique for that. So yeah, now it's in there. Anyway, let's go over Boba's articulation. He does have an extra head underneath in his helmet there. He looks down extremely well. And he looks back. The bottom neck is completely movable on the inside, so you can rearrange that neck any direction you want. He does have some emotion on this side, uh, not so much on this side, and you know what, it's probably because of the glued head in there, and we'll check that out in a minute. The visor is movable, goes up and down. The missile is removable, I showed you that earlier. His arm pops up to about right here, and it has a really nice flexible elbow pad on there. It does have rotation, two swivel cuts in there and one at the elbow, and it pops up to about right there. The wires connect to both sides. As you see, the jetpack came off again, but yeah, those wires look absolutely sweet. There is a swivel where those wires are, and of course his hand is on a really nice hinge and rotates. This arm pops up to about right there, and of course there's a swivel in both pieces, a swivel in the wrist. The wrist looks super sweet, don't it? And his hand hinges in. I also see his amazing butterfly joints in there. Definitely a lot of wiggle. A nice rotation at the waist. He pops back to there, pops forward to here. And yeah, he does have a nice rotation in there. But that's where he turns. And you can slide this belt up and down. Looks super, super cool. Lots of good weathering on there. I like the cape, how there's lots of holes in there. Boba does his splits to about there. He kicks up really well, kicks back to about right there. Has a single jointed pinless knee. There is an upper swivel cut, a swivel in the knee. These are what he used in the Mandalorian to shoot those stormtroopers, pretty sweet. Boba does have a hinge on the foot and a rocker in the back and some peg holes on the bottom. And I'll also heat this up and show you how it looks. Here's Boba Fett on the Hasbro stand, and he looks super sweet on this one. He fits really, really nice. So you can go with the NECA or Hasbro, but I did heat up his helmet, and to me, it looks almost the same. So I'm just going to keep it like it is. But overall, guys, this figure is absolutely epic for sure. If you can pick him up, 
definitely do so. Thanks for checking out today's video. Check out one of the videos you see up on the screen. And I will see you guys in the next one.